Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to, yeah, you guessed it, another video. Okay, that was, oof. Mm. Let's, let's, let's try that again. <coughs> hey guys, oh my god. This is just not a good day. This is not a good start so far. <coughs> Yo, yeah, that's good. Welcome back to another video. And today, where's my computer? Oh, my computer's right here. Woo! Today I'm going to be doing a Q&A video. So I put on my Instagram and my Snapchat, you know, hit me up, ask, and on my last YouTube video I said hit me up, ask me some questions, message me if you have any like questions for me that you'd like me to answer. Make them as, I, I also said on some of them, like make them as weird as you want. Sure enough, I got like, I think I saved, I don't think I'm answering all of them in this Q&A because I had so many. I had to save some of them for the next Q&A I do. You guys are great. You guys are awesome. All right? I, l I love you. Yeah. Okay. I, th like, for real, I got so many responses. I was like, why do I look like Urkel right now? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. okay. Also, I just wanted to like get a different vibe for the video today. I wanted to do it outside, you know? Some nature vibes, am I right? I'll insert a little fancy nature montage here in a sec. Question number one, how old are you? I am 14, I'll be 15 in November. Um, I feel like I've said this before, but like, you know, whatever, it's fine. So I'm 14. What's your favorite food? Okay, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go with sushi. That could change. I don't like fish though, like not raw fish. Like I like sushi, like, 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 okay. Like vegetable sushi, you know? Oh, there's this place by my house. A sushi place. Oh, so good. They do like a sweet potato roll. It sounds gross and I hate sweet potatoes, but it's really good. Like, it tastes more like a, um, I don't know what it tastes like, but it's good. Okay. What are your hobbies? Um, my hobbies are singing, opera, I, you know what, anything just musical, like classical in general. Theater or classical, anything. Those are my hobbies. Uh, I like to play basketball sometimes. And my other hobby is YouTube, as you can tell. Have you ever cheated on anyone? No. I have not. No, I haven't. Okay, I just... I was just like making sure, like I, I, I don't recall that I ever cheated on anyone, but you know, just wanna make it clear. Eye color, I, you, okay, I'm not gonna like show you guys, but like my, my eyes are hazel. If you don't know what that is, that's a mixture between green and brown. So like in the center, it's, it's, a, it's not even in the center, it just depends on where I am. My, sometimes my eyes are blue, you know what I mean? My eyes just are weird. My eyes are technically hazel, but like sometimes they look all kinds of colors, sometimes they look like blue so I don't know but hazel is my my final answer Fi final answer okay I don't, I'm not liking what I'm looking like today but it's fine favorite song and genre all right so I gotta go look on my Spotify first um my favorite song is probably follow her by Deb X or 5 32 p.m. by the deli like it, you guys probably don't even know you guys probably don't even know what those are it's like, um, uh, no, I don't know what you'd call that, like, in indie, kind of? Not really. I, I don't really know the genre. My, it, it doesn't have, okay. My favorite genre is opera, like, classical music. I love that. Like, I can get so lit to opera, you have no idea. Beethoven, my boy. Woo. But, yeah, those are my two favorite songs, though. But they're not opera. They just, they're, it's just music. There are no words. It's just, like, it's the same, like, beat playing over and over again probably sounds annoying but it's it's good to me so am I dating someone yes this is my favorite question shout out to Jacob Kogan my boy all right I don't even think he's watching this but whatever is Shrek love or is Shrek life you know that's a good that's a good question both the answer is both okay final answer Thoughts on global warming? I don't really know if this is a question. I mean, kind of, I guess. Can you guys be quiet? All these cars, damn. Dang. I don't cuss. 
you're watching this, Mom and Dad. Okay. Um, thoughts on global warming. So, I... To be honest, I, I know what global warming is, but I honestly don't really understand the concept fully yet. Like, I really don't understand the big whoop and hype about global warming. I don't, I don't really get it. So I'm just gonna say yes. That's not, it doesn't even answer the question, but you know, whatever. Yanny or Laurel? Okay, first of all, I'm just gonna say right now, stop with the stupid Yanny and Laurel crap. I'm so tired of it. I thought it was done by now, for real. There's a piece of corn sitting on, I'll show you guys that later. To be honest, I hear both Yanny and Laurel. If you listen to the low frequency, it's Laurel. But if you listen to the high frequency, it's Yanny, okay? Do that next time you listen to it, and you'll, you'll see that I'm just a freaking genius, okay? Uh, Crocs or Converse? Ooh. Uh, that's really hard, actually. Most people will be like, Converse, duh. But, like... <sighs> so, I guess my answer for that question, Crocs or Converse, would be Crocs. I'm sorry. I love Converse, but I'd have to go with Crocs, because Crocs, homies for life. Okay. Fave TV show. Okay, they didn't really give me enough context for this question, so I'm gonna give you two answers. Well, I'm gonna give you three answers. If you mean TV shows that are, like, really old, like, that are no longer running, I'd say Friends. If you mean a TV show from my childhood, then it would be Drake and Josh. Yes! Wait. So then it would be Friends, Drake and Josh, or and if you mean a show from like right now, Gotham, uh, it's like the bat, it's like, it's like the story of Batman when he was a kid. That show, there's some pretty weird crap in that show. Let me just tell you, it gives you nightmares if you're not ready for it, but. I think it's either 8 o'clock on Mondays or 8 o'clock on Thursdays. I don't know what the new time is. But yeah, so watch it when it comes on this school year. How tall are you? Okay, this is going to be sad. I'm, um, so I went to the doctor, like, maybe two or three years ago, and they said I was 5'4", okay? Like, I was 5'4", definitely. And then, um, I come in, like, maybe a year later, and then I'm 5'2". Yeah, so, um, ever since that day, I'm, I've am i still been 5'2". So, apparently I shrunk two, in, 2 inches. So, yeah, um, that's not really cool. But, like, you know, whatever, it's fine. I don't really care. So, I'm 5'2". That's to answer your question. I'm short. Do you play Fortnite? Okay, when it first came out, I was like, this is, this is stupid. Why, why are, I was just mad because at the time when it came out, I had a boyfriend and he was, like, always up playing Fortnite. I was like, really? That's great. So then, um, when we broke up, I tried playing Fortnite on my phone. Not gonna lie, first time, I'm, I'm not kidding, first time, like my first try playing it, I got like fourth or third, which is, that doesn't sound that good, but I mean, it was pretty good for my first time and being a girl. Okay, no hate, I don't want any feminists coming over here being like, What? Because you're a girl, you can't win at Fortnite? That's not even what I was saying. I was, I was just making a comment, okay? Don't attack me, please. Alright. So, yeah, but um, I played Fortnite for the first time and got like fourth or third place. And then I played it again, and every time after that, I kept getting like 34th and crap like that. I was like, hey, well, how come my first time I got like a higher score, but now I can't even get past like 40? Like, what? Then there was one game I almost won. I was hiding in the bush the whole time, whole freaking time. And this guy. I didn't have, I had like one gun, mind you, maybe like two bullets left, I don't know. And, um, so, I don't know how I had two bullets left, because I was hiding in the bush the whole time, so I don't know how that happened. But then this, it's just me and this guy left. He doesn't know I'm in the bushes, but he knows I'm, he knows I'm still alive, but he doesn't know where I am. So I come out shooting this guy, and then I run out of bullets, and then, I don't really know what happened. Like, he, he didn't shoot me, that's not how I died. I died because I like... There's this treasure chest in the house that I was hiding in when I ran away from him. And I thought it was him who shot me at first, but it wasn't. It was like one of those weird mirages in the treasure chest that killed me. And I was like, really? So I could have beat this dude. Not really, but I could have beat this dude. And a stupid tre 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 treasure chest made me lose. I'm suing. No. Okay. Yeah. So that... In case you're... In to answer your question, no, I don't play Fortnite anymore. It kind of pisses me off. Okay. I think it's kind of dumb, but like, you know what, whatever, it brings people together, you know, so why not? 
I'm not one to hate, so. Okay, do you have any pets? Yes, I have five cats. Have you ever eaten cat food? I think I already remember who asked this, and I know they, I know they already know the answer to this. Yes, I have eaten cat food. Okay, let me just give you the backstory first, so you don't think I'm weird. I am weird, but that's not, not that weird. So I was like maybe two, like one or two, and you know, you see these cats eating the cat food all the time. It looks so darn good because they're like hacking it down and stuff. I forgot I had this. So they're like hacking down on this um, cat food, right? And you're kind of getting jealous. You're like, okay, well, what's the big whoop about cat food? Like, why haven't I tried this yet? So, you know, you're curious. Me being a two-year-old toddler being curious, I try it. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> I don't remember it being that bad. I remember it being pretty good. But um, I wouldn't eat it again, because I, I was two at the time, but I was still really picky. But you know, also I did eat baby food, which is basically just chewed up food. So I'm basically like a bird being fed by its mother. That's disgusting to me. So um, I can't really say if it's good or not, even though that wasn't asked to me. So I don't know why I'm getting into that. Moving on. Okay, Drake or Josh? <sighs> okay. My seven-year-old self probably would say Drake. My 14-year-old self probably would say Josh. Why is the, why did the lighting get weird? Can you come back, please? Come back? Okay, whatever. All right, worst date. Okay, this has happened multiple times, so I'm just not gonna tell anyone who it is, because I don't wanna be awkward and weird, um, because that's none of your business. But my worst date would probably be, I'm not gonna say the location, because then it'll be obvious, but we went somewhere and he brought his friend, and I didn't know his friend was coming. So that was kind of awkward. It might not even been a date. I mean, I thought it was a date, but like, whatever. What are you gonna do? So, you know kids these days. Do you like sweet or dill pickles? Okay, I kind of like sweet pickles, but I'm not, a, I'm not a big fan, okay? I'm not a huge fan. Dill pickles are where it's at, okay? All kind, but I don't like the baby dill pickles. Those are gross to me. Like the small ones, that, ugh, those are gross. I like the big kosher dill pickles. You know what I'm talking about? Why does my chin look so weird? So I'd say dill pickles. Who is your celebrity crush? I think this should be obvious. Dylan O'Brien. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Ooh. My religion. Okay. I don't think I've ever talked about this. I'm very religious okay not religious i'm very de i'm a very devoted christian um but not like oh my god i hate gay people um like you're going to hell like no i'm not like that that's not even how most christians are that's how the stupid christians are a real true devoted follower of jesus is like they love everyone like their brother and sister so like if you're gay go be gay like good for you you know, follow your dreams, follow your heart, follow your passion, you know? Like, God loves us all, whether you're gay, straight, purple, blue, black, white, and he doesn't care, he loves us all, okay? He loves each and every one of us, and I'm, I'm being dead serious, like, it kind of hurts my feelings when people think that all Christians are, like, very hypocritical and judgmental, because I'm not, like, most, most real Christians aren't. But yeah, so I love Jesus, and um, I'm, I actually haven't been to church in a while. I'm kind of, kind of feels weird. I, I just been have been really busy, but that's not an excuse, cause you know. But yeah, uh, so I love God. I'm a Christian, but I'm not like Catholic or whatever, like the special Christianity Christianity branches. I'm non-denominational, which means like I just believe in God. So you don't have certain rules to follow, just the Ten Commandments, and that's it. Yeah. So what's your go-to joke? If any, anyone who knows me, literally, if I'm trying to be funny, this is the only joke I say. Okay, why did the mushroom go to the party? I don't know, why? Because he was a fun guy. Get it? Because mushrooms are like fungus, and like he's a fun guy. Fun guy? The plural of fungus? Okay, if you didn't get it, then you're lame. But yeah, that's my go-to joke. I literally say that at parties all the time. It really makes the man love you. Okay, well, moving on. Is the world ending? Okay, I thought that I thought that meme was over, but no, the world is not ending. I don't know who keeps saying that the world is ending, but it's not. So shut up. Okay, LeBron or Stephen Curry? 
Okay, I think we all know the answer to this one. Stephen Curry. Okay, do you watch Stranger Things? No, I don't. I don't have time to be... I really don't have time to watch... Like, binge watch stuff on Netflix. I really don't. I, I'm not kidding. I don't have time to do that. With music and school and all that stuff. I During the school year, I just don't have time. And I never want to watch Stranger Things. Because I get scared of stuff really easily. So it does... It, 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 it just looks scary. And I don't... And please don't leave in the comments. It's not scary. Trust me. Oh, there's a big wasp. Because it doesn't matter what you think is scary. Because I think everything is scary. So, yeah. Moving on. I have so many questions left. Oh my gosh. What was the inspiration for your channel? Okay. My inspiration for my channel would probably be boredom. I was just bored. And I saw a lot of other YouTubers getting really popular. And I was like, you know what? They make pretty good money. Like, once they get popular, they make some pretty good money. And, you know, college isn't cheap. So, like, I'm thinking... Why not start YouTube now and make some extra money on the side to help for college, you know? Help to start off with a good life, you know? And also, it would just be fun. I get really bored sometimes, and it's just fun. I like talking to you guys, my 121 subscribers. Okay, I think I have 122 now. I don't know. Not sure. Okay. Uh, what's your dream car? Uh, I don't know. I guess, what are those called? Uh, I low-key don't know what this is called. I, I, I usually know the name of cars, but like, it's like one of those yellow beetle cars. I don't know. Like, I'll show you a picture. I don't, I don't really know what it's called. But like the light yellow beetle cars, they're so expensive. This. I really want one of these. But, um, they're like hella expensive and I don't... My family does not have the money to buy me that kind of car, so I guess I'm getting whatever I can get, you know? Who, who's one to complain? But yeah, that's my dream car. That yellow beetle car, or whatever it's called. Alright, um, so question, whatever. Why doesn't McDonald's sell hot dogs? Okay. Um, I don't work at McDonald's, nor do I want to, so I really don't know. You're gonna have to take that up with their manager or their corporate office. So I can't really give you an answer to that. Why, why don't you leave a bad review on their website and say, you guys should really have hot dogs, okay? Just, I don't know why you're asking me though, so, okay. Um, are eyebrows considered facial hair? I mean, I guess, right? Oh, it's a real thing, okay. Okay, facial hair. A growth of hair on a man's, it says man's, but or woman's, chin, cheeks, or upper lip. So no, eyebrows are not facial hair because it's not on the chin, cheeks, or upper lip. So it's not facial hair. Boom. Okay. Done with that. Why is there no such thing as B batteries? Oh, true, because there are only A batteries, like A, double A, triple A. I don't know. Wait, let me look this up. Are B batteries a thing? Are B batteries? Are there B batteries? Wait, they have A, C, and D batteries, but they just skip B? That is discrimination, okay? I don't like it. But I really don't know what the answer to your question is. I don't, I don't know why there are no B batteries. You should ask the battery company. I don't know. Pancakes or waffles? It depends on my mood. I, I'd usually go with waffles, but it really depends on the mood I'm in. So, you know. Least favorite food. Okay, I'm about to I'm about to go off. I'm about to rant. Okay? My least favorite food is oranges. Oranges. You know why? I just hate oranges in general. They smell horrendous. Every time someone oh bleh. okay, that wasn't fake, that was real. Okay. Every time someone peels open an orange at lunch or in class. I feel like I'm about to vomit. Like, I have to actually remove myself from the situation. Ask any of my friends. If you peel open an orange near me, I literally will have to go to the bathroom and leave. Like, I can't I can't be next to you if you're peeling open an orange. And especially when you're eating it. It's so gross. Ugh. So if you ever meet me in person, or ever meet me again, don't ever open oranges near me or just leave. If you're going to eat an orange or have an orange, just don't be near me. I'm basically allergic. Not really, but like, I'm just going to say that so you guys leave me alone with the orange things because it's gross like <laughs> ugh. and the taste is even worse like and then some people are like well why not orange juice 
It's literally just the juice of the orange, like the worst part. Ew. And the texture of the orange itself is just weird. I don't like it. So I have to say oranges. I hate them. Ever kiss someone? Yes. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Uh, birthday and zodiac sign. So my birthday is November 4th. Save the date, buy me some gifts, send me money, whatever you want to do. Uh, just kidding. Um, and my zodiac sign is Scorpio. You know, I don't really get it. I don't act like, I don't think I act like a Scorpio. I don't see it. But then again, I don't really believe in zodiac signs. I think they're kind of stupid. They're fun to read, like the horoscopes and stuff, but I don't really believe in it, so. Kind of dumb. Favorite color? Yellow. Yellow. Um, that's how white dads be answering the phone. Yellow. Is that racist? Please no hate in the comments. Okay, thank you. Turnoffs. Okay, I don't really know what they mean by turnoffs. They weren't specific enough. I'm guessing turnoffs, like dating wise, like boys. Turnoffs for like dating. I guess like if you're okay, this is just me. If you, personality turnoffs, or like if you're just mean, like if you're a jerk you like put other people down this really bothers me when people bully kids with autism or any disorder for that matter I'm like dude really like that's not cool that's mean like I it really is it, it just rubs me the wrong way and I don't like it or when people um they're just cocky I really hate guys that are cocky it gets on my nerves or when they like not order you but like when they like basically think they can just tell you what to do it's like no I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't think so no you're, you're not gonna tell me what to do. No, that's not how that works. Yeah, there's compromise in a relationship, but you can't just tell me what to do. No. And turnoffs, like, physically, I don't have any, because I don't, okay, physically, I guess my turnoffs are if you stink, if you smell like booty, that's gross. No. Uh, but that's, that would be my only physical turnoff, you know? This video's gonna be like 30 minutes long. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Biggest fear. Okay, I'm gonna change that to biggest fears because I have a lot. Um, I'm afraid of heights, so if you ever ask me to go to a roller coaster ride, uh, it's gonna be a no. Um, clowns. Oh my god. Um, in where the area where I live, the clown like this happened like two years ago. There was this clown thing that happened. I was in seventh grade. It was like people were dressing up as clowns on social media and in person and like trying to scare people. And like one of my friends got chased. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! No! 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 Go away! Go away! Oh, oh no! No! Oh my god! Someone help me! Someone help me! Someone help me! Ew! Ew! Please go away! Please go away! Please go away! Please go away! Okay, I gotta finish this video real quick because there's like a giant mosquito and I'm so scared. Okay, so my biggest fear: clowns, heights, and uh, uh, I'm forgetting something. Clowns, heights, and pigeons, pigeons. I'm really afraid of pigeons. Don't ask why, I just am. Okay, uh, my middle name, my middle name is Janine. Janine, like with a J. Okay, three things you would change about yourself. Uh, number one, my voice. I would change my voice, because my voice is just hella annoying. It's because it's, it of my nerves. Uh, number two, I'd probably change like my smile. Like, I don't know, I don't know. It just is kind of weird. Uh, number three, I would probably change, um, I don't know, I don't know what I would change about three. I guess I only have two. Okay. Um, ever skipped class? Okay, this doesn't really count. I was like in fifth grade, but I was a rebel back then. I didn't really skip class, but the majority of the class, I was just in the bathroom, chilling, and then the last five minutes of class, I showed up. So I didn't really skip class. I still showed up. Okay. Oh, I'm so scared. Okay. Um, what's your, and last question, what is your favorite place you've ever been to? I have two. One, the opera and the symphony, like same thing. I love going there. And number two, Chuck E. Cheese, because Chuck E. Cheese is life, okay? Oh my god, there are two? There are two. Oh my god, guys, guys, help me! Oh my god. Guys, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to go. Okay, so that's the end of Q&A number one, guys. Um, if you couldn't tell, I'm not gonna cut, I got kind of scared because there was a, um, there was a, there were two big, huge mosquitoes that were like flying around my head. I thought they were gonna like eat me. I don't know. But yeah, so anyways, that was the end of Q&A number one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you'd like to see me do another Q&A sometime, um, leave me some more questions. DM me, Snapchat me, uh, 
the message me on YouTube, comment on YouTube, just anything you want. Okay, yeah. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And um, yeah. So that's the end of the video, guys. We. Okay. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Okay. Peace out, Girl Scouts. <laughs>